Okay, I'm just uh, starting my brushless conversion on my uh, Sportsworks Turmoil buggy. Um, I got pretty much everything here uh, to get rolling on this. Um, I'm going to run the same mo uh, same speed control I got in, in Justin's, the uh, Hobby King 150 amp speed control. Uh, his has a Fiago motor. I'm trying the the Hobby Wing motor. This is a 9XL. Um, should be fairly comparable to to the Fiago that Justin has in his. Um, same thing. Uh, turn to G uh, 5000 uh, 4S LiPo. Um, body. I'm gonna use the same uh, RJ Speed body that uh, that I put on Justin's buggy, but. Uh, mine I'm going to do a little different. I got these Ofna Dominator wheels. They're uh, they're actually a, a monster truck wheel, a full offset. So they're going to it's going to widen out that track uh, quite a bit wider than what Jug Justin's is with the uh, with the buggy wheels on his. And uh, I'm going to run uh, Komodo Dragons. They're a real low profile uh, monster truck tire. So they'll be actually real close in size to a standard buggy uh, outside diameter. They're, uh, these ones are a medium soft compound. They got a real, uh, real firm foam in them, which I, which I like. Hopefully, hopefully they won't balloon too bad. I, I don't, won't know until I uh, get it all put together and, and try it out to see how, how they're going to run. But uh, I got a uh, it's a VP Pro wing it's kind of a cool it's a real high downforce uh, it's their V series um, real high downforce wing on it I wanted yellow but all they had was green so I'm gonna have to kind of think up some kind of a paint scheme to to implement that green color into the the paint scheme on this but uh, like I say, this is just a start. I'll, I probably won't go shoot, go through and and show every little thing on the buggy build. But I'll, uh, if nothing else, I'll I'll snap show photos as I'm as I'm going through and piecing this thing together. But uh, I I really like the way Justin's drives, so I figured I'd I'd get me a a buggy and see what uh, what I could do with this thing here's another brushless uh, project I got going on right now this is a uh, it's an outboard uh, drive for a, a nitro boat that uh, I'm going to convert to uh, a brushless we're going to keep instead of putting the motor in board we're going to uh, mount the actually mount the motor uh, outboard so I'm uh, making an, an adapter plate to go from this up to uh, to mount a brush uh, brushless motor right onto it we're gonna use a, a Mamba Monster on it but uh, I started out with just a, a solid chunk of uh, aluminum like that and uh, I bored the center and uh, so I have a true hole on the inside to go with. I started cutting the outside a little bit there, but uh, just for mock-up, I uh, this plate here is going to mount right on top of of the outboard drive there, and then uh, you know your flex shaft runs down through to the prop. This is a coupler that's going to mount to the motor. So uh, once I get this all done, this this plate is going to screw to the top here and uh, actually it goes this other way it, it's going to screw down onto the top there but uh, once I get this all finished this is going to be mounted onto here this uh, top plate here is what the motor is actually going to mount to so what I got to do I got to drill this and uh, screw this down I'm going to put six uh, countersunk screws into the top of this 
and then I got to chuck this back up into the lathe and true everything up all the way down um, and then I'll drill my I'll put my hole in the center and I'll put the four bolt holes where the the mamba is actually going to slide in through here and from the bottom side uh, you'll put your screws into the motor through the center of this uh, spacer here and then this plate is actually going to fit upside down onto it like that so it's it's going to give you a sandwich I mean it'll be all all machine true and stuff once uh, once I get that all all screwed together and everything and then the Mamba monster is going to sit right on the top of there and the the whole thing is going to sit on top of on top of the out drive there and uh, drive that uh, drive the prop but uh, once I uh, once I get a little fried I'd, I've been working quite a bit so uh, I don't know if I get a little bit of time this weekend I want to try to get this put back together they they just started racing the boats again and uh, he's wanting to get out there and, and try this thing out so uh, I need to get this put together and uh, <coughs> see what uh, what that thing is going to run like it. It should run real good. We're we're using the the 2200 uh, kV Mamba Monster. The mutilator project's kind of uh, kind of on a standstill right now. He uh, decided to run a, a Tekken RX8. Uh, combo in in this thing instead of the mamba I got one of my mamba uh, motors uh, stuck in there just for mock-up and stuff but uh, we're uh, I got the battery tray and uh, we're uh, we're waiting on his lipo and uh, he needs to bring his motor and everything over and we uh, he's kind of he kind of likes the the Punisher paint scheme he has on one of his uh, uh, he has a slash body so I'm gonna probably do uh, maybe like the Punisher skull on the on the roof or something on this and then uh, kind of some ghost flames in or something I don't know I haven't really he wants he wants it black so uh, I don't know well once I decide exactly what I'm gonna do with the body and stuff I'll show you the paint on this but uh, Hopefully he gets back with me here pretty quick, and we can get this thing put together. I'm real curious. I want to. I want to see how this drives it. Um, I've been wanting to to test one of the Tekken motors. Um, there's a lot of there's some options that the Tekken will do that uh, the Mamba won't, which you know it's always fun to play with that stuff. But uh, once once we get this thing a little further along too, I'll uh, I'll uh, do so, I'll do a video on the when I do the body and stuff on it, but it should come together real well too.